What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is going to be just a average length video on how to um, work on your next program here in school. So first thing, you're going to go here and click on Create. Enable your Flash Player. Allow. Next, uh, we're just going to go through this. I'm going to encourage you to pause rewind, watch this a couple times, uh, and go kind of go step by step. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to delete this cat. So scissors, delete. Got it. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a backdrop. And so we're going to end up making like a little basketball game. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is create a backdrop with a basketball hoop. So I'm going to click on this arrow here which it just brings up these icons in case you can't see them. I'm going to click on Paint a New Backdrop. So over here in this screen is where I have my ability to paint. And my backdrops right now, Backdrop 1, Backdrop 2. You can actually go ahead and delete one of them. So Backdrop 2. Um, here's my color palette. And over here are my drawing tools. So Paintbrush, pretty straightforward. Line tool box, circle, and down here, this is the same with the box, you can change the line thickness, you can fill it in, text box, fill, erase, change the size of your eraser, select tool. Now, we'll get to these in a little bit, but today we're not going to focus too much on those. So I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to use my drawing tools to make a basketball hoop. So first thing, or the next thing I want to do is click on black, which is what I'm going to use for the outline. Box, right now it's box fill, I want box outline. Outline. Now I'm going to go with orange for this part right here. And I'm going to make a red circle for the hoop. Okay, now I'll make a net. Okay. So, there's my basketball hoop. Now, uh, it's a little bit bigger than I would like it to be. And so, to make it smaller, I'm going to click on Select. And I'm going to select the entire thing. And I can move it. And I can shrink it. So, I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to move it up to the corner. There we go. Corner, corner, backdrop, done. Now, I'm going to click over to Scripts which really doesn't change that much, um, but I'm going to add my shot meter. And so to do that, I'm going to go to paint a sprite, and this time I'm going to go black, and we have the same drawing tools over here, I just don't have the white background. So black, rectangle, make it like, eh, make this or so. Now one thing, I'm going to click, and it's going to pop up over here, but it's going to be kind of really big and not where I want it to be. So one, too big, two, not where I want it. Um, but we'll fix that after it's done. So I'm going to go to my black line, and I'm going to make four boxes. One, two, three, four. And I think I said boxes, I meant lines. Um, now I'm going to fill these in. I'm going to go with green yellow. Keep in mind, this is my fill tool. Red. Now, shot meter. Uh, one thing I will point out is that, let's say you have a box, and then you try, you have a line, but your line doesn't go all the way, it's not touching, so if there's any open white space, like if I wanted to fill just this side red, when I click here, it's going to fill the entire thing red because there's a little gap here. And because of that gap, it will fill the whole thing. So 
If for some reason more squares are filling than you want them to, it's probably because of that right there. So undo, undo, undo. This is my sprite I'm going to work with. So now I'm going to move it to the corner and I'm going to shrink it. Shrink is right here. Scroll up if you can't see it, but that is where it is. Next, I'm going to go to Sprite again. I'm going to make another Sprite. I want, I want this one to be black. I don't know why I was clicking it so many times. And there's a little tiny cross here, here in the middle. Try to put it as close to the middle as you can. And that is going to be our shot meter. So it's going to go back and forth. And that's going to be what we use to make our shot. So now I have this made, this made. I need to go to Scripts. And I want my black line right here. I'm going to go events, when flag is clicked. Then I'm going to go to looks, and at the bottom, go to front. What that does is just in case um, it's behind the shot meter, that'll put it on top so you can see it. But this might not be a problem, but I would put it in just in case. So right now my uh, moving bar is on one side. I'm going to go to motion. Glide one second. Now I'm going to pick it up and move it to the other side, which is where I want it to glide to. Glide one second. And I'm going to go to control forever. Now, what's going to happen is when I click the flag, this line is going to go to the front and forever glide back and forth. Ta da! Now you can make it go faster and slower as it moves, um, but we will uh, look at that. In the next one. So the next thing I have to do is I need to code this to tell my basketball to shoot. And so I might as well pull a basketball out. So I'm going to click on my sprite icon, choose a basketball. So again, all I did was I clicked on this one, choose sprite from library, chose the basketball. You could draw one if you want. I don't really care. Um, it's just easier to pick one that's already made. Alright, so that's going to be our first video, and our second video will be the second part of this. So this is part one, and next we will be moving on to part two. Don't forget to file, save, 